All right, all right, all right. So what are we carving today, Rob? Well, we're carving some mushrooms. Mushrooms to go with our gnome. Our gnome. We're carving some mushrooms to go with our gnome. And then we're probably going to carve another gnome. Take you, buddy. Bark, bark. All right. So we're going to be using the Dremel 4000 with Cuts All Extreme Flame Burr. So let's get this party started. All right. All right. Happy. Happy Sunday, everybody. Happy Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. All right. So we're starting out with a Dremel 4000 with the Cuts All Extreme Flame Burr. If you would like to save yourself 5% on your next Cuts All order, and the code put CARVROB in all capital letters. CARVROB. All capital letters at the cuts all site. All right, all right. So we roughed out the uh, mushroom on the bandsaw, and now we're taking that cuts all burr and we got them all shaped up. Now we're taking our OCC two and a half inch carving knife, and we're carving, getting that face all worked in there. Got the nose cut in. Just kind of doing the eyebrows there. I'm using the knife because it's uh, a little more aggressive than the burrs and it doesn't leave all the marks that the burrs leave. And just in case you're wondering, this is a piece of birch. A piece of birch that uh, I found last summer. So, uh, I, uh, you can see I just decided to uh, use it because it's bigger. All I've got is uh, the one, one and a half by one and a half by four inch uh, stuff. So I wanted this guy to be a little bit bigger around. And I had a piece of birch laying there. So we went with the birch. Now we have the micro motor with a diamond burr in there. And we are... Putting the eyebrows in. He's going to be a grumpy mushroom. So we're putting the eyebrows upward. And then uh, we'll round over the eye socket. Uh, where the eye socket is. Under the eyebrow. To give it a round, round look there. I really got to figure out a different angle for the camera. Overhead's okay, but... I really need it to be like in front of me, but I really don't want to try carving around a camera. Uh, I think it'd be uh, be ridiculous trying to do that. You just want to pinch the screen and rotate it so you guys can see the front side of it. Um, I will say, uh, carving these mushrooms, you're probably better off carving them in two pieces. Um... I know for doing it on camera, it would definitely be better because that way there you could see all the work I'm doing on the face. And uh, then I could actually angle the cap back so that when it's put on its uh, whatever, shelf or uh, board or diorama, whatever it's going to be on, that uh, with the cap angled back a little bit, you'd be able to see the face better. But... Uh, my buddy Chris over there at uh, Therapy 49 sent me some pieces of metal so I can make an adjustable mount. I just haven't got around to it. And he's probably saying, yeah, Rob, you know how long ago that was? So, yeah, I got to break out the welder and uh, I got some uh, thin plate steel I can make. So I can just uh, kind of keep it up in the air, but then move the whole thing, my camera rig back and tilt it down. So it give me a different angle. For these kinds of shots where you got something, you know, big over top. So, yeah, I think uh, that's the way we're going to go. I'm going to take the time and go ahead and finally get around to building that, Chris. Yeah, I got, I've got a carving here that I uh, carved to send to Chris. I just, I haven't got around to it. So, I got to get his uh, mailing address and get that mailed out to him. It's been, it's been a while since I carved it, too. I just keep forgetting. 
I'm sitting here uh, doing this voiceover, and I look up, and I see that carving. I'm like, man, I got to send that to Chris one of these days. So, it'll be coming. It'll be coming, Chris. All right. So, has anybody gone over and checked out the guy I told you about, the Somerset Cumber, uh, Whittling? Somerset Whittling. And uh, Dan Carprio, C-A-R-P-I-O. Yep, Dan's doing some, he's, uh, all these, both these guys are whittlers. Uh, so if you whittle with a knife, go over and check out Dan. Give him a share and a like and a subscribe and all that good stuff like that. Both those guys are really good at carving. And, uh, yep. So now we've got, uh, I'm going to call it a nail head. Uh, looks like a nail. It's a flat diamond. Uh, let's call it the stubby cylinder. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but, uh, you can see what it is right there. And we're just doing some rounding over and smoothing out and whatnot like that there. Uh, these ones with the flat end on them work really good for leveling things out. Okay, so now we have the cut saw gold fine. Love this burr. It's right up there. One of my top burrs that I use. Along with the uh, cuts all extreme. I like the font. Well, I like all the cuts all birds. They all work pretty good. Uh, but with the micromotor, the micromotor don't care for the uh, extreme birds. It, it binds it up. Puts a lot of strain on the on the micromotor. So, um, I leave the, I try leaving the extreme birds in the realm of the Dremel. Just, uh, the Dremel handles them better. But now the fine... And the coarse, silver coarse, gold fine, uh, they really work a treat in the uh, micro motor. So if you guys got a micro motor, just uh, some tips there for you. Uh, I've had this one here, I think, for going on over two years now. And it's been working great. Uh, Jordy Johnson over at Carving Fusion has one. These mushrooms are for the Jordy Johnson Challenge over at Carving Fusion. So, hey, if you guys want, he's going to have some great prizes. If you guys want to get in on that, go over and check out his videos on his uh, mushrooms, his mushroom things. Okay, so now we're switching over to a di uh, diamond needle burr for putting the... Uh, creases and this guy won't have a mustache believe it or not yep just carved rob is carving something without a mustache and a beard so there it is you're gonna get a look at all my uh naked face talents here <laughs> oh, which are crap so um yeah there's always that so we're putting in the uh uh lines there I just changed over to a finer diamond burr. Okay, so these are the little ball burrs that I like using for doing the eyes and stuff. They're 105 Dremel. And uh, they work pretty good. And they are eighth inch. Um, because the smaller faces, right? We got to use smaller, smaller burrs to uh, get in there and do those faces. So that's what we're doing. Uh, that little, that's that little tiny ball burr right there. And, uh, you can see we go deep into the corners and just, uh, bring it out. Just feather it out to get in there and do them, uh, them little eyes. You can see how big this guy is, right? His face is about as big as my thumb. Okay, so now we got a little, uh, diamond football burr in there. And we are rounding the, we're feathering that eye to give it the round shape that we're looking for. Now I'm not too worried about, uh, I only, I'm only, con me personally, I'm just concerned with rounding the eye from the inside of the nose to the outside of the eye. I'm not too worried about uh, rounding it over from top to bottom. Uh, this guy is just too small to, to worry that much about it. I do, uh, you can see I'm doing it a little bit with whatever the diamond burr is giving me. Plus, I've learned, unless you're going to go ahead and uh, cut the pupil in, 
just take your diamond burr or whatever and plunge it right in there and make a hole. Paint that hole black and then paint the rest of the, the eye uh, white. Um, if you round it over too much and they're not both exactly the same, it's hard to paint that pupil and iris in there. So now we have these Harbor Freight Carbide Drills. Um, I learned this trick from my friend uh, Kevin over at Sticks and Stones Wood Carving. Uh, he hasn't been around a while, but he still has videos out. And just the ends of them work good for like a pencil lead. Okay. And these do break really, really easy. So they are a drill bit. They are not a cutter. They are a drill bit. But I just, I like using it because they're really sharp on the end. So I just like using the end of it to uh, make the lines deeper. And now we have a needle diamond in there. Let me clear that up. So I just adjusted the crop on it because he was way down at the bottom of the screen. So I just adjusted the crop to uh, get him off the bottom of the screen, right? Okay, so uh, um, I did the other eye off camera. Uh, I showed you guys how to do the one. Now we're cutting the grumpy mouth in. The frowning mouth, yep. And basically, we just went from one side of the uh, smile line to the other side of the smile line. Use the diamond, that little diamond needle, to cut a straight line across. Now we are coming back with the diamond uh, flame burr to cut the bottom lip back a little bit and deepen it into the corners. Put the bottom lip under the top lip there. That's what we're doing. To make that upper lip hang over just a little bit. Now we're rounding it. We're breaking that edge. We're rounding that edge over on the mouth. So it's not a sharp stop. Now we're putting the snot trough in. Right there. You know. When your nose gets running. That's where all the boogers go. Is right down that middle of your lip there. To call, I don't know what it's really called. But we're calling it a snot trough. We're using the diamond flame bird. Cut that little snot trough in there. Okay. So now we're coming back. And drawing in the lower lip. And we're using that diamond burr there. One, the birch is uh, it's a little bit harder than basswood as far as uh, carving goes. But it's not bad. I, I enjoy carving birch and uh, popple. I've got a lot of popple uh, in the woods. Not in my house. All I got is oak and pine. Uh, and not that many pines. Mostly oak. So uh, whenever I find a birch tree that's knocked down or somebody cut down... And they don't want to burn it because birch is really good firewood too. Uh, but my local sawmill here, um, they, they make pallets that you, they put stuff on. And uh, so they take uh, trees and cut them into boards. It's a sawmill. And they cut down a lot of popple. So I'll go over there. For 15 bucks. I can get a truckload of popple squares, like the cutoffs. Of the uh, boards that they make. And they're pretty good size. Good enough for me. You know me. I do a lot of little stuff. Uh, I don't think they're all that great for chainsaw carving. Uh, they're not quite big enough. They're kind of that. If I slice them down on my bandsaw. They'll work good for uh, the kind of stuff I carve. Uh, or if I leave them big. I can almost get away with a chainsaw on them. Okay. So now we're cutting the chinny chin chin in on this guy. Give him a little bit of a chin right there. And we'll put a little split in that chin. Give him a little, a little uh, what do you call that? A clevis? Clef? Clef in his chin? I personally don't have one, but I see a lot of people that do. Got that little bit of clef. And now we're going to change over to a diamond uh, comb burr here. To smooth everything off. To uh, ease that, that uh, cleft. That's it, cleft left chin uh, and blend it in a little bit kind of like uh, if you guys ever seen Family Guy Peter Griffin <laughs> he's got a cleft chin just putting a couple little uh, age lines in there we'll cut some a uh, couple little bags under the eyes 
Yeah, we got a, a whole family of mushrooms. Uh, Jordy said I've been keeping a secret. Uh, it's just that I haven't had time to get around to uh, editing the video. Okay, so now we have the Cuts All Extreme. Uh, I believe they call this the saw, saw burr. But it also works really good for putting in the flutes or gills or whatever you want to call them under the mushroom. And you guys see? Right now, I was just going to put a couple in to kind of give it the hint. And then I'm like, ah, just go around and cut more of them in there. So that's what we're doing. You can see I signed it right there. There it is, RV 2022. And uh, you can see the spurs kind of burning, leaving some burn lines behind, which is okay. Works out good. Uh, they don't go all the way up to the stalk, but, you know. And you can see where I bumped the stalk a little bit, but we're going to go around sand that, so that would all uh, be erased anyway. Alright guys, share, subscribe, like, be awesome, carve something awesome, and we'll catch you on the next one. Alright? Alright. Bye-bye. Alright, if you guys hung around to the end, here's a special little treat for you. All my mushroom guys, they're all done. Well, a couple of them. Bye.